Today, I want to talk about what exercises are the best for you. And I would love to share with you my personal everyday routine at the end of this video. Hello, beautiful face yogis. My name is Tina. I am a head coach at the Face Yoga Method here to help you on your journey with this transformational method. Be sure to watch the entire video to start your face yoga method journey with a free routine. There are some things you should keep in mind when you are about to decide which exercises you should choose. First of all, are you a beginner or are you already doing face yoga and know some exercises and poses? If you are a beginner, you should start with exploring your face. This is your beautiful face, telling your story, showing your emotions and what is going on in your entire body and mind. Look into the mirror. What do you see? Look at your forehead. Are there some 11 lines or horizontal lines? Your eye area, eye bags, dark circles, crow's feet, your cheeks. Do you see some volume in your cheeks or maybe the cheeks are starting to sag down a little bit? Your mouth and lip area, smoke lines, pouches and dimples next to your mouth, marionette lines and your neck. Have you developed maybe a little double chin or some horizontal lines? Everything that you see, everything that you discover is you. You have created every single line and wrinkle and dimple and pouch. Your life has formed the beauty of your face and everybody is beautiful. The face yoga method is a pro aging method. And now that you know what is going on in your face, you can easily start to create a short routine. As I said, if you are a beginner, start with just a few exercises per day, depending on what you want to work on. And if you are not sure, you can just start with the exercises that are easy for you. Slowly start to get used to the new movements. Slowly start to see and feel how your facial muscles are working. Try to feel if some muscles are maybe tense or if you are not able to move some because they are weak. Observe your face while doing the exercises and pretty soon you will be able to do more exercises, change your routine to whatever you need and use your face as a guide to find the correct exercises and poses for you. And you will be able to diminish fine lines and wrinkles, get rid of eye bags and dark circles, add volume to facial muscles, sharpen your face line and change even the shape of your nose. Never forget, if there is something you don't like, most of the times it is just you who doesn't like it. Ask everybody around you. I'm pretty sure nobody even noticed it. And also remember, the face yoga method is a holistic concept. You can easily start your routine with drinking hot water, do some body exercises, work on a good body posture and head position because everything is connected. Go for a walk to serve your skin with oxygen, eat a healthy diet to nourish your skin. All of this is part of a good face yoga method routine. It is absolutely easy. You just have to start. And if you are already a face yogi and you have done one of our programs or seen some YouTube videos and want to build up your own routine, also remember that everything is connected and that your face changes every single day. You can do one exercise for each area, for example, if you want to work on the entire face and neck, or you can concentrate on one or two areas and choose two to three exercises per area. That's totally up to you. You know your face the best and you can feel and see which muscles are tense and need to be relaxed and which ones are weak and need to be activated. I would love to share with you my personal everyday routine. Tapping. I start and end every day with tapping on my chest, on my neck, on my face and on my scalp and also the back of my neck. This activates the blood circulation and also the lymphatic system to detoxify my face and bring fresh blood, including a lot of 
oxygen and nutrients to my skin. The Big O. I love the Big O. I do it in between my daily routines while I'm driving. I can do the Big O when I'm in front of the computer and I feel that my face is getting tense or that I'm grinding my teeth. I also do the Big O. And in every morning and evening routine, the Big O is included. I'm doing the forehead freeze. I love the forehead freeze. I am already able to do it without protecting my forehead. So I'm just opening my eyes a couple of times, really wide. I always do this when I'm in my car and when I'm at red signal, this is my go-to exercise to activate my eye muscles. And the swan neck, of course, I do a couple of times every day when I'm putting on moisturizer or sunscreen. So at least in the morning and in the evening and also when I reapply my oils or my creams, I do the swan neck and apply my product products. This is amazing. to protect my skin while I'm doing some strokes and pat in or gently, gently, gently apply my moisturizer and my sunscreen. And another absolute important exercise for me, I do an entire routine every evening is the acupressure to get rid of all the stored tension and stress on my face so that I can go to bed without any tension in my face. My face is relaxed when I go to sleep and my face is also relaxed when I wake up. And I do the acupressure on my forehead. I love how that feels on my temples. Right now I have a lot of allergies, so I'm spending some extra time along my nose and my cheekbones to open up the sinuses. Also on my masita because sometimes I'm grinding my teeth and always end with tapping. You see, it is easy to get started and to have some exercises you can do in a routine, a short routine, or you can just do them in between. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to claim your free face yoga routine with a link in the description.